Hello, my lovelies. <laughs> it is Tuesday, so we are going to do our Tuesday lesson. Today I want to talk about trusting God. I want to start off with reading an analogy that I would found while scrolling and looking through some stuff. I really liked it, and I wanted to share it with you all. Okay. Let's see. When God wanted to create fish, he spoke to the sea. When God wanted to create trees, he spoke to the earth. But when God wanted to create man, he turned to himself. Then God said, let us make man in our image and in our likeness. If you take a fish out of the water, it will die. And when you remove a tree from soil, it will also die. Likewise, when man is disconnected from God, he dies. God is our natural environment. We were created to live in his presence. We have to be connected to him because it is only in him that life exists. Can't get this camera the way I want it. Okay. And then Proverbs 12, 25 says, Heaviness in the heart of man maketh it stoop, but a good worth maketh it, maketh it glad. When it comes to battle and anxiety and fear, which in this day and time it seems to come so very easily, you know, with everything going on, and you don't just have the regular stuff like, you know, this COVID and everything else going on. You, you got fear and anxiety with family and everything. I mean, but I've noticed the deeper I go into God's Word, the easier it is to swing the sword and to fight it. Now I'm going to read Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 through 9. It says, the bit. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of a good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, Think on these things, those things which you have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do, and the God of peace shall be with you. Right there, God is promising peace. In God, we need to trust. He has promised to provide and he has promised to take care of us. But you know what? You have to let him. You have to serve him. You have to trust him. He made us. He knows exactly what we need. He knows what we need better than we do. And think about yourself. You're not going to help someone if they don't come to you for help. God feels the way that way too. He will help his children when they call on him for help. You can only help when someone asks for the help. And God is our only help. Philippians 4.13 I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. You know I've said it over and over. And I will continue to say it. Let go and let God. Let his feet and don't pick it back up. I know speaking for myself, worry and anxiety absolutely gets through the roof. I worry about family, health of myself and health of my family, this world and everything happening in it. I get down because so much has changed. I miss going to church and teaching the kids in Sunday school. I miss not having to fear a virus and being afraid of packing this in on my loved ones. But right here and right now, I'm laying all this worry, fear, stress, unknowing, anxiety at God's feet, and I will not pick it back up. He is my only help, and I know this, and I trust in Him and His timing. He knows what I need when I need it, and He will take care of me, and He will take care of you too. So, we are going to trust in His perfect timing. We are going to let, let it go, lay it at His feet, and be at peace. And I want to end this with saying we need to pray on it, pray over it, but most of all, pray through it. You know, there's a lot going on. And nobody knows exactly what to do to get through this. None of us has ever lived through a pandemic before. This is all new territory. And, I mean, I know eventually things will get back to some kind of normalcy. But right now, we just have to... Trust in God. I love you all. I hope you have a good week. Have a safe week. I will be back Friday with our Fun Fact Friday video. Bye.